Hey there, chat. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I'll bet you missed me. Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. We here getting ready to continue ourselves. Uh, when we last left off, we were outside Polycarp's, uh, uh, Polycarp's Cathedral here. And, uh, we did not have a whole ton going on. Let's see. We had, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yes, get away from the bells. Uh, let's see. We have the fridge factory that we still need to go to. And we still have the snackle mills that we need to go to. And aside from that, I think we've covered almost everything that we've exposed. Gabby takes a piece of candy out of her purse and tosses it in her mouth, then holds the purse out to you. Want one? Uh, let's see, hold on. How do the Garys talk? Uh, oh well. Sure, thanks. Uh, let's see, oh, Russian yeast. Huh? Your purse is just entirely filled with saltwater taffy. Yes, it is Gabby's favorite. I, get, I guess I did hear somewhere that goblins prefer, process sugar really effectively and don't need as many vitamins as humans. Ah ha, jealous. A little bit, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, why Magimectech? Magimectech refrigeration. I can't remember why we needed to come here, but there was an actual useful reason. Oh, hold on. My controller is resetting. Tollbooth was obviously stolen and dragged here. That's funny. Uh, Gab with Gabby. He's been Flurbert. Uh, no. Okay. These folks look like they're here for some serious business. Try to make a deal. Whoa there, buddy. Uh, this is a private party. Club members only. Yeah, like you said, club members only. What kind of club is it? It's the fraternal order of people who bribed us more than we earned we earn in this gate guards. The Fop Bum Egg. <laughs> I've never heard of it. How do I join? What are you, thick? I'd have thought it was obvious, pal. You give us meat. How much? 500. Yeah, 500. Hmm. I don't have enough moxie to do anything here. Yeah, 500 meat. Clancy, I told you to knock out that repeating business. Let's see. How am I supposed to come up with that kind of meat? You could try panhandling with that bums over in the uh, Goldwick Park. Where's that? Just north of the west here. You can't miss it. Location unlocked. Gold weight park. Gold the weight park. Oh, worth the weighting gold. Okay. You can't miss it. For the love of Mike Clancy, dry up. Cool. Alright. Um, I could also try the very hard fight. But I'm glad that I got this option. Uh, let's see. Can you two tone it down a bit? Tone it down, you say? That up there, if you if you want it tone. They start playing even louder, like it's some kind of loaded Tommy gun with a pixie dust. Uh, and shot you through the ears. <laughs> like they loaded the Tommy gun with pixie dust and shot you through the ears. Cool. Give them a music lesson. Look, friends. You're going about this all wrong. Don't you know anything about modern music? What's important is the notes that you don't play. What mean? What mean? You know... You the notes we play not? Uh, let's see. I can see you do have a lot to learn. You better start by practicing not playing any notes at all. Then once you get good at that, you can focus on learning which specific notes not to play. Mmm, I see. That this modern music is tricky business. The goblins stare at their glockenspiels carefully, not playing them. Carefully not playing them. As you leave, you hear the accidental plink, followed by urgent slush shushing and apologies. Goldthwaite Park. The park groundskeeper is inspecting a clipboard with his panicked apparel with the panicked paralysis of someone who has so much work to do that he can't do any of it. Huh, uh, sorry, fella. I don't wanna I don't wanna seem rude, but I'm much too busy to chat. I'm stuck running this place by myself, and there's about a million things to do. Well, I could use a little bit of extra pocket meat. How about I help you out? That would be great, except the new city regulations disallow hiring random part-timers. Since this is a municipal park, only official government contractors are allowed to work here. There's a law against side quests? Why? 
Just to be a thorn in my side. As far as I can tell, it's not like any of these tasks are dangerous or anything. Yeah, kind of cagey look on your face when you said that. Okay, well, two of them are dangerous, but that isn't even half. I, submiss I submitted a request for help weeks ago and still haven't heard anything back. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to be an official government contractor. That would be terrific, but I am going to need to see some proof of that. Um, let's see. Let's see, um... <laughs> tricky. You wave your hand in front of the groundskeeper's face. You believe that I am an official groundskeeper <laughs> worker. Well, you do have the official government contractor wave down, Pat. That's a good enough for me. Great, what do you need me to do? Well, that depends. What kind of contractor are you? I'm a... I'm a statue polisher. Oh, thank God. I'm sure... I sure wasn't looking forward to doing that job. I think the birds might must be eating leftovers from the old Snackle Cakes factory. It's horrible. Here's a rag. You got an item. Statue wiping rag. The groundskeeper unlocks the maintenance shed behind him. Can't promise there's anything you need in there, but feel free to borrow whatever strikes your fancy. Great. This one's, uh, this one is Joplin's less popular works. Increase your damage of ranged weapons by one until you use another potion. And my moxie is really low. Some shellac comes from insects, but if you don't know that it came from basic... Eh. But if you don't know that it can come from basically anywhere. Okay. Some shellac comes from insects, but if you don't know that, it can come from basically anywhere. I wonder... Is there anything... I don't know what the impenetrable shellac is for. Play to homemade cookies. Locker, but it's not locked. Maintenance overalls. Uh, laden with miscellaneous junk. Junk mail and a match. Shuffle of var various herbicides. Weed killing chemicals. Park maintenance logs. They wouldn't be interesting if even if you were just pretending to work here. Um, built splattered statue. Okay. Got this. There we go. Now you can get a good look at it. It's a statue of Corinthia Bishkenbossel. Corinthia Bishkenbossel, mayor of Ocean City from 1805 to 1823, is credited with putting Ocean City on the map by suggesting maybe we should build a dock or something so boats can park here. Cola War so Soldier. May the forces of the Red continue to dominate and refresh forevermore. Dedicated in 1919 by the National Cola Association. I just realized red cola, blue cola is uh, Coke and Pepsi. Uh, red, uh, let's see. Here's to all the brave blue boy, boys in blue who took the ultimate challenge. Dedicated 1919 by the Ocean City VCW. I see. It's grime splattered statue. Now we can get a good look at it. It's a granite sculpture of an owl skeleton. Oh! And chiseled from a photo reference and enhanced, enchanted to drive away mice. Was gifted to Ocean City in 1902 by Hobart Buppert. That's fantastic. Daniel Ocean. Founded Ocean City in 1770 and on his deathbed in 1804 requested that visitors to this monument only view the statue from the left as he felt that it was on his better side. That's funny. Nothing but hustle and bustle in that direction. You no need to thank me. I was happy to provide an opportunity to a working stiff. Here's your official payment. 5 XP and 75 meat. I'll take it. Um, I can be a landscaper. Carnivorous plant exhibit in the bot botanical gardens has gone out of control. Uh, when you say out of control, as in it, this is less a job for pruning shears and more a baseball bat with nails in it. Well, I'll get right on that. Botanical garden, statue plaza, fountain plaza, uh... Lepidopterarium and Science Center. Ooh. Pairs of sandals in the planter. I'll take them. Pointy rocks. 
Presented to Goldthwaite Park, November 13th, 1922, by Margaret. Ocean City Comptroller, a few of my favorite pointy rocks. This sign has been graffitied. Makes life a beach. Nope. Uh, plus three to maximum HP. What have I got right now? I've got the the spork, which is plus two physical damage. My muscle is stronger. I should wear muscle. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Haunted Duck Call. I love that thing. Hot armor. 20% item drops. <coughs> Physical armor or 3 maximum HP. I like this. Turt the turtle. Aloha turt. Turt the turtle. Turt, turt, turt. Woof. Merlin. Your max HP is wonderful. Alright. Caretaker unlocked the door for you. Go on in. You enter the botanical garden to find it overrun by dangerous looking weeds. Manitaw Chompotence, to be precise. You know this th detail because you mirrored, minored in cryptobotany. That's the power of education. That's awesome. Take it. Sword Leaf Sword. <gasps> Yo! Moxie plus two physical damage and causes a bleeding. Yo, that's cool. Bummer that it was Moxie. Do not punch. Don't tell me what to do. Ow. Broken coconut. You can't remember where you got this. I love it. It's, it's pointless and silly, but I love it. Let's see. Mysticality, maximum HP. Okay. Service-looking teen mans this tea counter. Buy some tea. Increases your muscle. Moxie, mysticality. Okay. So these are, uh... These are the different potions I can take. Rings, pants, shoes, familiars, food, potions. Okay, no. Sure you want to do that? No, I do not. What are my abilities right now? Or my effects? Spear buzz covered with scabs, warm hand, drops of mer mercury is one mysticality. Oh, I see. Doughboy from food. Actually, hold on. I got, okay, I got 23% XP. Oh, barrel cactus! Fear removed due to prohibition. That's funny. Control system for the botanical garden's extremely complicated watering system. Drink plants while looking at plants. Alright, guys. Those plants do not look like they belong here. Let's see. Five stench damage to invasive plant. This will not end your turn. Um. Reduce Moxie by three. Now their thing is muscle, muscle, muscle. Um. And they plan to hurt Gavin's real bad. Smack Gabby with Vine. Spit a seed. Smack Flurbert. Okay, so this guy needs to go. Um, we can kill him though. Nine physical damage. Man, that's good. Mm. 
Whoops. I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking. I, I, I lowered the moxie of the wrong one. Alright. Well, stench it is. I summon cheese. Ah! Oh, we threw the other end of it. That's funny. Ow. I'll take it. Let's heal. Cool. Alright. Uh, now let's go ahead and murder. Kapow! <laughs> no, Turt! I should have seen- whoops. I should have seen what they were gonna do. I would have stopped him. Oh, turd. I would have stopped him. Joshua Tree, named for David E. Tree. <laughs> Donated by a patron with no regards for the safety of the staff. Nasty Bramble. Avoid prolonged eye contact. Island Bone Bush, we're beginning to believe the specimen was donated as a joke. Dag nabbit turt. I should have seen who was going to get attacked. Park groundskeeper is inspecting a clipboard with a panic paralysis. Exterminator. We got some real trouble at our lepid uh, lepido uh, lepidopterarium. Your butterfly zoo. Uh, a bunch of horrible monsters got in. I'm afraid they're going to hurt the butterflies. Some of them are rare and expensive. Can you describe these monsters? Nope, I've deliberately did not get a close look at them. That sounds awful, but all right. Hobo is really going to town on that oboe. Can you spare a little meat? Sure. Holy cow, mister, thank you. That's just, that's just surpassing kind. It's what, it's what it is, that is. Mom always said I got a, a heart made of meat. Well, <laughs> well, I, I can't let this generosity go unrepaid. One custom obi motive coming up. A what now? Rose his brown concentration for a moment, then raises his obi to his lips. He beams. Wow, that's terrific. Uh, not pictured. There's a little sign, not pictured, that says, Please don't throw meat in the fountain. It gets really gross. That's funny. There's no water in the fountain. You assume it means no fishing for compliments. Good advice. This maintenance hatch is locked. The Lepi, the butterfly zoo. Make the small talk. Leave. All right. Attack the cricket. Ow. That's not great. He stole my AP. A little demon. Hmm. I need to get some smelling salts, apparently. Mysticality, muscle, moxie. Okay. Razor sharp ch chitin at turtle, causing seven bleeding. Wow. Okay. I want turt to live. Flamey Doe Glob. Alright. If I deal... 9 physical damage. I can hit him with this. Bonk. Alright. 4 physical damage. 
to this guy. Ow. Did he zap my daggone AP again? No, he did not. Okay. Uh, he's going to attack me. He's also going to attack me. Great. This is exactly what we needed. Um... He's going to attack with Mysticality. So I'll just hit him. Oh, no, you know what? We'll go ahead and reduce himself anyway. Okay. Didn't change anything. Bonk. Heal us all. Yay, Turt. Um... I summon cheese. And I murder thee. Turt, go stronger. Yay, Turt, finally getting stronger. Attack the cricket. We can probably get a pesticide that would make us not have to fight these. But oh well. All right, you sir, what are you guys gonna do? Gonna attack me? Gonna cause turret seven bleeding. No, I don't think you will. There we go. Cricket slap. Um, no, no, I don't think you will. Punch. Kurt heals Bailey for one. Why is he only healing for one? Fishing in it. You got nasty goo. <laughs> Ten sleaze damage. That's fantastic. Hold on. There's plant here. Can't get anything out of it. I, oh, I could probably harvest from these bugs if I was a bug harvester. I see. World's least remarkable but rock. I love that the birds are singing a tune. Oh, it's his oboe tune. That's cool. All right. I'm a plumber. All right, I know where that is. No, I don't. All right, what did you actually say then? Uh, security guard, this is awful humble for a police officer. I didn't know I could just do them all at the same time. Since the municipal police force was entirely replaced with contractors, you might as well call yourself a cop, right? Well, that's the that's what all the rest of them do. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. There's a hobo that's been hanging out by the park fountain. I'd like you to move him along. Is he causing trouble? No, not as such. Everyone likes him. But busking in the park is against city ordinance. The rules are rules, you know. Where's my... view side quests. Alright. Uh, fix the fountain in Goldwade Park. Okay, there we go. It's the fountain is the problem. Climb down the maintenance hatch. Note says, stop messing with these switches. The fountain does not work unless the pressure is exactly 40 gallons per minute. Gage reads 57 gallons per minute. Turn it off. Turn it on. 37 gallons. So, hold on. 7 gallons? This is 30 gallons right here. That's probably 7. It is 7. 
This one is 15. That one's three. Okay. There it is. Very old manhole cover. Climb on up. Fountain appears to be uh, fountain correctly now. Hey, uh, I need you to leave the park. You what? Yeah, I'm sorry, but the caretaker says you gotta go. There's a city ordinance against busking here, he says. Funny how that only starts getting enforced after I stop giving that bozo a cut. Of course, you and I both know only the police can actually run me out of here, and I ain't no flatfoot. This is true. Um... Could you leave as a favor to me? Well, okay, you seem like a decent fellow. I guess I owe you one. I'll find somewhere else to toot this old tube. Great, thanks. Cool. Terrific. Are you sure you're a cop? <laughs> Just kidding. Here's your official city payment. Groundkeeper smiles at you. Well, thanks for all your help. Gold with Parks is looking ship shape, thanks to you. Here, take this for your trouble. It's been the lost and found for years. Whoever lost it is going to find it if, find it if they'd have found it by now. A white hot ring. When you apply on fire, apply one extra. Cool. Um, but I don't apply on fire with many of my stuff, so this will just stay in the side for right now. All right. Well, we didn't go in the science center, so I guess we should just go in. Cool. Oh, this is like the Franklin Institute. You don't trust this pendulum enough to get any closer to it. Uh, the Edison and Tesla coils are fighting each other. Uh, laboratory workbench. Make some potions. Uh, two clunks of impenetrable shellac. One uh, globule of glowing ooze. Two clouds of eldritch mist. Boring as all the other rocks you've seen. No thanks. The sound's dangerous. Complimentary dihydrogen monoxide. It's free water. The exhibit would be more educational if any of the gizmos were labeled. Oh, these are all West of Loathing things. Ghost juice, plus three spooky armor. Luminous toothpaste. One mysticality. Face thickener. Alright. Plus three spooky armor. Awesome. All right, it's time to go to the fridge factory. In an alleyway, you encounter some poor street urchins with their math homework. We tutor them for five XP. I'll take it. I have 65 XP sitting around. I can bewitch people now. Ooh, I should probably take that. Um... Or I could wait and get two times material from gathering. But Bewitch is gonna be a nice skill just to have available. Try to make a deal. I don't have 500 meat. Let's see. Would you like a beating instead? Oh, you're starting with hurting me? Alright, that's not good. Deliver an inspiring speech. Immune to bleeding. 12 physical damage to turret. The entire party for 3. Gabby for 12. Oh, wow, somebody's going down. Why is nobody attacking me? That's silly. Wait. Why is the holy water getting more powerful? Oh, it just... 
Oh, it's just an insta-kill. Um... Welp. I'd like to take them both out, but I don't think I can. So, what I can do... Ten. Five. And eleven. So, ten and eleven. That was twenty-one damage. I can't kill any of them right away, except this guy. Goodness gracious, I wish you hadn't hit so hard. Um, there's not really anything I can do. Reduce Moxie by seven. That's a big hit. <laughs> This, you were right, this is a hard fight. Uh, maybe I should not have taken this up yes yet. Well. Oh, I can I can kill one. I can do 15 and so I can do 26 damage. So I can kill this guy and at least Turt can live. Why did it only do 7? It's not going to be enough. I wasn't paying attention. I looked at the wrong thing. Ooh. Welp. One physical damage. It's still not enough. Uh. Wow, this is a really hard fight. This is not good. I just wasn't paying attention that it's going to do 11 to everyone else. All right. Sleaze to you. Stench to you. And weapon to you. Plus nine to all stats. Holy moly! All right. I can do nine damage to him as is. Aya!
He's also going to really hurt me. Man. This is going to be tough cookies. Huh. I put the dough back in his hand again. Ow! Alright. After all that item usage I had lost anyway. Contemplative. Alright, what's the contemplative effect? Oh, I see. Alright. Two additional stench day. I see, I see, I see. You can't you can't bring yourself to drink it. Okay. Still can't drink it. Well, that was a rough battle. All right, I guess we shall wait and do that later. Eavesdrop on them. Three tinlessies, either squatting in a stoop or stooping on a, stooping on a squat. I'm bored. What's the last time we had a good rumble? Ages, but we non-aggression packed with the doughboys. Big Liz wouldn't like it if we messed that up. What about the Glockens? Want to fight some of them? They are too weird. Mm-hmm. You can understand what she's saying. You lean in, careful not to be discovered. What? I can't hear you with that helmet on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you eating something under there? Snimmage. Give them what they want. Oh, wow. Why did you guys get to move first, huh? Oh, uh, all my items are gone. That's so sad. Sleaze damage. So he's a mysticality. She's a muscle. She's a moxie. So let's hit with this. So that way you're doing less damage. And can I kill you? I can. You got 9 HP left. So you... On fire. For 9. That's too much, mister. You're gonna attack me, you're gonna attack me. So, uh... I think it's time for you to die. Watcha! I need to keep my turtle alive. Ow. Ow. Uh, you are gonna need to heal everyone. Who live? Okay. Yay, turt. Thank you. Hallelujah for that HP regen. Um, I guess I could have kept him alive and just saved the other thing for later. Sadie the Greaser. Um, you're going to do nine. You're going to do six. You're going to do six to Gabby. You get to live. Aya. Death. Aya. Death. Heal up. Ow. Please hit somebody that's not turt. Dag nabbit. Oh. 
All right, you. You have forfeited the right to life. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought it stopped for good. Mm. You demons. Death to you. Death cometh for you all. Slapper. That's such a bummer. Death. Tin Lizzie's Chop Shop. 7 XP. Let's go there. And to sneak up to the Tin Lizzie's hideout without anyone noticing. You aren't going to stay unnoticed for long, though. This place is crawling with Lizzie's. Unless you first move in to turn... Uh, to turn tail and run, I guess. Your first move is to turn tail and run. Investigate. Prototype car freshener. A couple of Tin Lizzie's are busy trying to dismantle a car that's already pretty thoroughly mantelless. It's like watching someone try to scrape one more sandwich worth of meat out of a leftover turkey carcass. <laughs> Let's get the jump on him. You're gonna do nine sleaze with your muscle. And you're gonna do nine sleaze with your maxi. So we're going to double drop you all maxi. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to drop your moxie. So you're going to do six to me. You are planning to do nine to me, but we're just going to kill you. Actually, no, we might not. You're going to attack... A random member and a random member. You're more dangerous because I know these guys are not going to kill me. I've got way too much health. I've got 26 health. You guys might kill my turtle. Bonkin. Although, oh, I should have put on some sleeves. I should have put on my wax pants. I'm so dumb. Um. I just dance. All right. Turret heals Gabby. I heal myself. Um, let's just drop your moxie even more. And now, we'll kill that wrench. Oh, I should have checked to see. Okay, good. Woof. Hallelujah, I, I took the, the hit. <laughs> She's going to kill him. Okay. No, you're not. You don't get to live. Hiya. Slapper. I could have ended this this turn if I was thinking. Ba bam bam ba bam bam ba bam 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 bam. Dead. 5 XP, 10 meat, hand washing gasoline. Turt grows stronger. Yay, Turt! Let's do some. Yeah, this is the max 3 max HP. Let's do some sleaze armor. Greasy gloves. W uh, 11 in 1 oil. Wow. Sharpening stone. Adds 1 bonus damage to a weapon. Cool. Okay. Increases moxie by 1 until you use another potion. Oh, it's a potion. Damage of your magical weapon attacks by three. Whoa! And one sleaze armor. Um, weapons, offhand items, accessories. Two stench armor, one sleaze armor. 20% item drops. Um, I like 20% item drops. Fish in the salt, salty fishing rod. 
Fish in the barrel. Greasy wrench. Continue fighting. Muscle plus two sleaze. That's not as good as my fishing rod. Muscle plus three. I guess it wouldn't be defended but against very well. Whoa! Greasy knee pads. I didn't know I could just keep right on fishing. Tin Lizzie Grease Gun. Got enough stuff out of here for now. Moxie plus two. Sleeves armor to a pair of pants. Cool. Cool. I wonder what I should add those to. I could add them to my wax slacks. Is there something else that I like more? <sighs> Physical armor. HP. I could just make them three, three uh, sleeves. A bunch of tin lizzies are hanging out there. Their attention is mainly focused on something further to the right, but the camera doesn't move far enough for you to see what it is. Hold on. Okay. Moxie, man. I want to do a Moxie run, too. Uh-huh. All right. Um, I'll live through this. Yeah, let's just apply these and make the, the wax slack stronger. Sure, you're currently wearing wax slacks. Add the knee pads? Yes. And you sew the greasy pads onto the knees of your wax slacks. Greasy wax slacks. Alright, let us do battle. Ow. That's a lot of on fire. <gasps> no, don't kill my turtle. Okay, so I will put myself out. If I don't, I'll die. You are going to weld Flurbert Bailey for nine hot damage. Six sleaze, attack her for nine, and then these guys are random. I currently have Um, 14 HP left. It's not great. Um, and then this lady will hit me for six. You need to die, mister. That's all there is to it. Nabbit, stop hitting my turtle. Uh oh, that's gonna kill her now. Okay. Now, you're gonna hit me, and I'm gonna live through it just fine. So, I need to make this girl go away. Um. I see. It's random what stat it will attack with. I have two AP. Oh, cool. Hold on.
Uh, no, she needs to heal everyone, so I'm not going to spend it on that. Hiya! Let's drop your Moxie. So you're just less dangerous in general. And then I will kill her off. You're going to heal everybody. Yeah! Turt gets to live. Yes! Brilliant. Now, you're going to die later on. Um, you got 9 HP left. I'm going to just kill you with my weapon. Although I don't even need to. Um, let's, yeah, you got 9 HP, so you can live. hi -ya. You can die. Um... Can we kill it? Yes, we can. Slap it. Now Turk gets to live. For certain. Ow. Why is Turk doing such a bad job with his healing? I need to I need to look him up and figure out what's up with him. Ah. Black. Punch. Punch her to death. 7 XP, 10 meat, hand washing gasoline, face grease. Increase hot armor by 3. Wow. A welding bench. There's a welding mask on top of it. More hot armor. Cool. Okay. Pan uh, picked apart truck. Muscular woman with a flaming red hair is sitting on a throne made of welded together wrenches and is glaring at you. The woman gives you a traditional slow, sarcastic clap as you step forward. Nice entrance. Thanks. Nice chair. Thanks. Now, who are you? Uh, introduce yourself politely. I'm Florbert Bailey. Nice to meet you. And you are? Well, ain't you sweet. I'm Big Liz. Big Liz Studebaker. I'm the boss of this gang. Well, that makes sense. Now, considering that you busted into my scrapyard, beat up five of my girls, plus however many on the way here, I figure you got something on your mind. What is it you want, exactly? Let's see. Ooh. I wonder what each of these are. I'm guessing if we join the gang, we get something from her. If we ask the gang to stop attacking me, then we just stop getting attacked. Maybe, though, it would be more than not getting attacked. Maybe it would be you don't get attacked, and instead your interactions with them are, like, nice. And you can trade items or something. Uh, I didn't have any particular goal in mind. I wonder what that would be. And I want to fight. It's just going to be a fight. Um, I didn't have any particular goal in mind. You just wandered in here, beat up my girls for no reason. Well, it seemed like the only way to get the other side of the room. I'll tell you what, you got this far, my girls ain't no slouches. That's worth some respect. I'll grant you a boon. A boon, like a favor? Yeah, within reason. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? It's no trick, you can trust me, because I'm sitting on the crescent throne. That means everything I say is automatically true. Wow, like the Pope? Kinda, yeah, we're, in, we're real into hierarchy and chain of command around here. Neat. Anyway, what if I say have a million meat. What if you say you have a million meat? What? What if you say black is white? It isn't magic, it's just, look, part of being a good leader is not trying to use your powers in stupid ways. Aw. Anyway, you get one wish. What'll it be? More. 
nuts. You cannot wish for more wishes. <laughs> I wish for you to call up your girls. I wish for prizes. I wish to join your gang. I wish to sit in your swell chair. I need to think about it for a bit. Oh, well, it's an open offer. Don't try to have patience, though, bud. Okay. That's funny. I do want to fight her. I wish to sit in your swell chair. Nope. Only the boss of the Tin Lizzie's can sit on the Crescent Throne. Sorry, kid. <gasps> I can bewitch her. Come on, let me sit in your chair. You waggle your fingers at her and do the trick where your pupils go all swirly. It's perfectly safe. You couldn't possibly result in any problems, I promise. Well, all right, fine, but for just a second. Let's see. Big Liz stands up and takes, and you take her seat on the Crescent Throne. It's cold and not very comfortable, but it does make you feel very powerful. Wow, this is great. Glad you like it. Now get up. Nah, seeing as how I'm the boss of the gang now, I think I'll enjoy it a little longer. What did you say? I said I'm the boss of the Ten Lizzies now, and I said it while sitting on the Crescent Throne. Twice. Nice try, but the power of the throne doesn't apply unless you are already the boss. I was the boss as soon as I sat down. You said while sitting here that only the boss of the Ten Lizzies can sit on the Crescent Throne, and here I am sitting on it. Ipso facto, I'm the boss. Why, you little... And the first change I'm making is what that from now on, changes in gang leadership can only occur via a written agreement from the current boss, which is me. You promised me you wouldn't cause any problems. I don't see any problems from where I'm sitting. Take it easy, little Big Liz. I'm just messing with you. Huh? I don't have time to run a gang. I'm busy. But I'm busy with something kind of weird. And I think I might need your resources. So you can run the gang same as always. All I need for is for your gals to help me out if I need backup. I swear on the Crescent Throne that I, as soon as I'm done with the whole crazy mess I've fallen into, I'll make you full official boss of the Tin Lizzies again. Alright, I guess I deserve it for falling for that trick. You win, boss. Great. Here, if you can sit down, uh, you can sit down if you want. This thing is uncomfortable. I'll stand, thanks. So what do you need from me? Well, I could use some supplies. Supply shed's over here. Here's the key. Chop, chop, said key. And if you get into any trouble in town, just give a whistle, and one of the girls will come help you out. The tin whistle. <gasps> Summons a tin lizzie to help you in combat. Only works in Ocean City. Is it a one-time use item or something? I hope not one-time use. All right. A tin poot dictator. Big Liv gives you annoyed but resigned look. What do you need, boss? Sorry I tricked you out of your gang. It was a dirty trick, but it was by the book. I should have been more careful, that's all. Nothing. A uh, shed door is unlocked. Or locked. Unlock it with the shed key. See if there's anything useful. Got anarchist hardware. So that's a pipe bomb. Battered toolbox. You got a crowbar. Car door leaning against the wall. Take it. Chopped off car door. It's been converted into a shield. Antifreeze is delicious, but it's poison. Workbench. Make some stuff. Let's see. Combat items. Oh, cool. Restore 10 HP and cure poison. Increase physical armor by 5. That's awesome. Fancy combat items. Deal 5 to all enemies. Deal 10 to all enemies. Wow. Reduce all enemies' stats by 3. That's also awesome. Wow, I need to get more... Uh, <laughs> I need to get more impenetrable shellac. Man, I like all these.
Another fancy. I like uh, increasing my physical damage by five, or defense by five. That was cool, but nah. Require. Oh, I used up my anarchist hardware. Nuts. Okay, I didn't realize it was a usable item. Uh, calendar just says crimes. Bunch of repair maintenance for cars you've never heard of, except welding and wielding. Teaches advanced weapon repair techniques. Weapon durability system unlocked. <laughs> You're supposed to repair weapons after using them for a while. Who knew? You put the book away, but realize with your newfound knowledge that its spine is broken beyond repair, so you throw it away. That's funny. You know enough about weapons to repair to tell when it's needed, but not quite enough to do anything about it. Deal your muscle in physical damage and reduce an opponent's mysticality by three once per fight. That's awesome. That's amazing. Actually, yeah, I have 44 unspent XP. I want to do this to get more XP. Mm-hmm. Gorgonzola's Guile. This car hasn't been noticeably not chopped yet. Look inside. I don't have a wire coat hanger. Old school blacksmith anvil. This must be where they work on the really vintage cars. Nothing in that direction except tetanus. I like that. All right. Um, well, I think for right now, I'm going to call it. Thank you all so very much for watching. I do hope you had a lovely time. Please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. It's, uh, this is fun. I like this game. I like the stuff. I like all the options. It's got, it's got a lot of, I'm going to probably need to replay this kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, it's neat. Anywho. I shall see you in the not-too-distant future. I know you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye.